Hi, so this is going to be um, the first video of a number of them that are going to be in regards to braces and I figured I should start off the uh, this this series with um, kind of my braces story kind of thing and why I got them, when I got them, things like that and that's just what this video is going to be. <clears throat> so, you should know that I am a senior in high school right now, <clears throat> and yes, I have braces. I don't think that's too uncommon, that's not like ridiculously uncommon or anything, but I think most people would prefer not to have their braces on in their, um, sorry, the lighting's kind of funny, their, um, senior year of high school, but I got them before then. Um, I got them just this past July, so July 2020, uh, 2020, 10, 2010, and, um, ah, well, let's see, I knew for sure, like, the day when I would get my braces on for sure, like, the date, uh, probably two months in advance, probably, um, my orthodontist, my parents, and I were talking about it um, occasionally pretty much a year or so, a year and a half or so prior to um, the day I got them on. So, I mean, the amount of time it takes to decide whether to get braces varies. But the thing is, I could have gotten my braces as soon as I had... Um, gotten my last baby tooth out of my mouth so after I pulled the last one but for whatever reason that didn't happen and uh, I decided and my parents decided that I would get my braces right before my senior year excuse me <clears throat> um, so I mean that's kind of unfortunate in a way but it could be a lot worse um, so I got them in July, right? And I'll just go into what exactly is wrong with my teeth. Um, I have to say that in my case, I don't have, I didn't have horribly crooked teeth or I didn't have any kind of disfiguring anything in my mouth. That made sense. Probably didn't, but I didn't have like a horrible overbite or underbite or I didn't have like a tooth growing behind another one or it wasn't one of the more um, extreme cases if you know what I mean. I'm only going to have my braces on for a year and a half which actually kind of sounds long. I'll be halfway through my freshman year of college by the time these puppies come out but that's okay. It could be worse like I said but my case I didn't have horribly horribly crooked teeth or um anything. Actually, I could have decided not to even get my braces if I did not want to. I was actually kind of half and half on whether I wanted to get my braces on or not, but ultimately the one who decided was pretty much my mom and my dad, I guess, but mainly my mom. She was telling me that if I had the opportunity to get my teeth straightened, I should do it. So she kind of just made that decision for me. <laughs> so I that solved that problem that I couldn't decide. Because, now, see my teeth right now. If you were to take off my braces, this is essentially what my teeth would look like before I even got them on. Yeah, it. my teeth, to be perfectly honest, and not to like toot my own horn or anything, but my teeth were pretty darn straight. Um... <clears throat> before I even got them on. Actually, people who uh, saw me after I got my braces on were like, what? You got braces? Why? I thought your teeth were straight. And Which is funny because I didn't think people noticed that kind of thing. And I'll tell you now, they notice. Because even people who I don't, who I'm not like friends with, they notice that. Which is funny. So, people notice if you have straight teeth or not. And people were telling me, oh, I thought your teeth were straight. And and then I get into the whole thing of why my teeth, um, why I ended up getting braces. So here we go. My top, my top row is the problem 
and that's the reason why I had to get them. So my top row was shifted over. Hopefully, hopefully you don't mind looking at my mouth, because I assume that if you're going to watch a braces video, you're going to look at my mouth eventually, right? Because it's a braces video. So my top row was shifted over that way a little a little bit. I mean, it wasn't like an like a centimeter even. It was pretty small, but so the this right here between my two front teeth right here, that line, and then also my bottom two teeth right here, they didn't line up when I smiled. So and that wasn't a huge problem. It wasn't no it really wasn't noticeable. But what the most noticeable thing was that right here right here you can see that wire right here but that right there I had a gap that was about the width of my pinky going this way not this way because that's pretty thick but um, my pinky maybe a little smaller but yeah it is about the same width of a gap right there and that was because I had pulled a tooth and it took me a while to take out my baby teeth and it grew around it so I took it out so that's the reason why there was a gap there and that wasn't really noticeable unless you were like on this side of me and I was smiling that would be noticeable but really it wasn't a huge problem for me um, so yeah but what's funny is this gap right here is pretty much closed up and um, I don't know why it's going to take a year and a half. I hope they were just exaggerating just to like psych me out and then get really excited if they told me, oh, you get to take them off by the end of the month or something. <laughs> I don't know. But maybe that will be the case, maybe not. But they told me a year and a half from July. Now, the reason why I have them on my bottom teeth, because some people can just get it on the top or just the bottom. My mom only got them on the bottom. And she was like, 30 something when she got them on. Um, the reason why I had to get them on the bottom was because in order for this gap to close in in order to shift my teeth back that way my teeth my bottom row of teeth had to be tighter together so if it were this wide it has to be like that if that makes sense they had to be like closer together tighter together so that's the reason why um, I have braces on my bottom row of teeth now, um, hopefully I addressed all the things that I wanted to get addressed in this video. Um, I only have a couple of minutes left to film this one. Um, I'm going to just separate everything that I want to talk about into separate videos by category or by what the content is or whatever. And, um, yeah, hopefully this helped you, um... Well, I don't know if this helped you at all, but the fact that I'm talking about it, hopefully this was something for you. I don't know. Um, so what's to come with this whole braces thing is uh, expect the next video um, to be more how my actual experience getting them on was, like how it felt, how long it took, things like that. And um, also all the monthly checkups that I've had so far and how that's gone and also probably the colors of my braces. <laughs> um, I'll probably address that too just because that's always the fun part I guess. And um, that'll be in one video. Another one will be probably like a maintenance thing. How I take care of them, how I've dealt with them, what I bring with me like to school or if I go out somewhere and I need to I don't know, a quick fixer upper with my braces or something. Um, and then also another video, probably just a general one. Maybe that'll be split it, split up into a couple. Um, just how I deal with having braces and how I feel about having braces. And um, yeah, so those, uh, there'll be at least three other videos for this braces series. And um, I hope this was somewhat entertaining or helpful or at least just something to listen to and hopefully got you interested in the next few ones that are going to be coming. And I hope you have a good day. Uh, go do your homework if you have homework because God knows I need to do that <laughs> right now actually. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.